Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. Okay, so a while back I got a request on what to take with you when you go on vacation and you want to do duct taping on your vacation. Now, I, I actually got this request a while back and I actually wanted to wait until I was actually on vacation before I cranked out a tutorial for this because it makes sense that I'm on vacation, I'll show you what I brought with me and then you, you can get a better idea of what I take with me when I go on vacation as well as what you can take if you want to do duct taping when you are away from home. Okay, so we'll start off with the most basic thing, and that is duct tape. Big surprise, right? Duh. But basically, when I'm going on vacation, the amount of duct tape will vary depending on how long I'm away from home. So if it's a couple weeks or so, like maybe a week, just a week, I'll probably take maybe two rolls and the two colors that, I'm really, that I really like and I can make a lot of stuff out of. If I'm away for maybe two weeks, two and a half weeks, and there is like a store around me that I can get duct tape, like a Michaels or a Walmart, I'll just take maybe two or three, maybe, maybe four, if they're definitely the 10 yard rolls, which are a little bit smaller than the 20 yard rolls, I can fit more of those in a bag. And I can just, you know, pick up a couple colors from the store if, you know, if I'm not able to get the colors I want, which I took with me. The next thing is a color palette, which you can see here. Now, I did show you guys how to make this in a tutorial, which you can catch right up here. I'll show you how to make just one, one just like this. And basically, even though you are taking maybe a few rolls of duct tape with you, I do have a, a giant color palette here, which has pretty much every single color that Duck Brand makes. But... It is a really useful thing when you do take this with you to not only match the colors that you have, so you're able to determine the colors that way, but if you are really bored and you're trying to come up with new color combinations, you just bring your color palette with you and you can just, you know, come up with new color combinations on the fly. You can just, if I'm really bored, I'm sitting in the airport, for example, I may not be able to make stuff out of duct tape but with my cutting mat and everything, but I can sift through these colors and figure out, you know, new designs, new colors to use in the future. I'll write those down and I'll use those when I get back or when I get to my destination, I can whip out my exacto knife, my cutting mat, and stuff like that, and make some cool stuff. All right, next thing is a cutting mat. Now, this cutting mat here, which I'm going to be using for my stay here down in Florida, is a pink exacto knife cutting mat. It's one foot by one foot, which is a little bit smaller than my one back at my at my house, which is 18 inches by one foot, so it's a little bit different size. It is a little bit bigger though than those smaller cutting mats that I used to use back on the channel, which you've seen a few times. Those little miniature green ones that I've used to use. This one's a little bit bigger than those, but it is a perfect square, so you're able to fit it into, you know, folders, you're able to fit it into your luggage a little bit better. But you definitely want to choose a cutting mat that can fit into your luggage and it can fit into various places before you just decide to take it with you. Because these don't bend very well. You don't really want to bend these too much because it kind of ruins the surface. So you definitely want to slip it in just the way it is and you can take this with you wherever you want to. So this one's one foot by one foot, just the perfect square and it works really well when I'm on vacation. So following the cutting mat, we have the X-Acto knives. Now, I usually take just one knife with me, plus a few replacement blades, depending on how long I'm gonna be away. I don't usually go through blades that quickly, but you know, just in case one gets pretty dull, I can have a few extras. You can take these on plane, so if you are planning on traveling with X-Acto knives, you do not wanna take this on a plane with you. They won't allow it on. You definitely wanna put it in your checked luggage. So checked luggage only for the X-Acto knives. I think pretty much everything else you could probably put in your, your uh, carry-on luggage, but Definitely not the X-Acto knives. So if you're if you're flying somewhere, gotta go in your checked luggage. But X-Acto knives, I'm definitely gonna take a few, one, at least one of these when I go on vacation, just because it's perfect for cutting stuff out. And if you have the cutting mat, you have to have one of these. Otherwise, you know, you're not gonna be able to use scissors or anything like that to cut stuff out. So pretty much wrapping this up, there aren't really that many tools that you can take with you and you don't really want to cram your suitcase with a whole bunch of different things, especially if you're only going to be away for a little while. But two more tools are a ruler right here as well as a pair of scissors. Now the ruler comes in really handy even though there are markings on the cutting mat which you can use to you know, measure all your stuff. You definitely want to make sure you do have a separate ruler just because it's a lot more mobile than the cutting mat and if you're trying to you know warp the ruler in different directions and measure different sizes of things, it really comes in handy to have a floatable ruler which you can move all over the, your cutting mat and stuff like that. So people always ask me why I don't use this stuff on my cutting mat. Well, mostly because the cutting mat has to stay in one spot, the ruler can move around. It definitely comes in handy. Second thing are the pair of scissors. Even though you have your exacto knife, you can use that to cut out tape, you know, to cut out designs and stuff like that, you definitely want to have a pair of scissors. Why? Because, because you can cut out with duct tape fabric. Duct tape fabric, you know, is when you cut when you cut strips, you stick them together to create no sticky sides showing. Scissors, if sharp scissors will cut through that really, really well. Uh, exacto knives, they they will if you push down hard enough and they're sharp enough, but they probably aren't going to cut 
through it as well as a pair of scissors. So definitely want to take a pair of scissors with you. I'm not sure what the new air airport policy is on scissors. I think they might have to go in your checked luggage as well. So you have to check on that. But if you are driving somewhere, you won't have to worry about any of this. But definitely a pair of scissors will help. They don't have to be a huge pair like this. You can probably pick up a little pair of craft scissors or something like that. That'll probably work a lot better. But I definitely carry a pair of scissors as well as the X-Acto knife when I do travel. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on what to take with you when you are vacationing and you want to do a little duct taping while you're away, as well as what I do when I do vacation. That's what I take with me when I do go to various places. There are a few various things you can throw into your kit if you're taking it somewhere with you. Like I said, if I only take two or three rolls of tape, you can take more than that if you want. If you have enough room for it, bring as much as you want. But you can definitely take a, a, a decent amount of things. I try not to take too much just because, you know, it takes up a lot of room, at least if you try to cram like 20 rolls of duct tape into your luggage. That's a lot of tape, so it's going to take a lot, a lot of room. So got, just uh, experiment with different things. You know, if you go on vacation once and you forget something, then you can, you know, just mark that down for the next time. And then hopefully if you want to duct tape more on your vacation time, you can just have a refined list which you can use and take stuff with you. So take care. I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. Having a lot of fun here at Disney. Mickey definitely says hello. And I will catch you guys next time on the channel. Take care.